Hi creators and welcome back. Today I'll be making over my TV stand. This is the focal point in our living room and I just don't like the way that it's looking and it's got a few dings and scratches on it from having it for a few years. So I'm going to transform this into something beautiful and something that matches our style a little bit more. I'm going to start by removing the glass from this piece. So here I'm just unscrewing these screws in the back and I'm just going to place them in a Tupperware container to hold them all and make sure that I don't lose them just in case I want to use them on a future project. Here I'm trying to take out the glass carefully, I'm trying not to break it. This was a very difficult process and very slow. So basically I just am pushing at the glass and trying to grab any little piece of it just because it was glued down in the corners. Um, eventually I did get it out and it didn't break and I didn't get cut. I won't be reusing them in this piece but I'm going to keep them for the future just in case I ever want to change this look back. Now it's time for my favorite part. I got a bucket of warm water and I'm just using some cred cutter that I spray all over the piece and then wipe it back with the warm water and a cloth. And I make sure to get a second bucket of warm water just to rinse it all down again because you don't want to leave any residue. This piece has quite a few dings in it from my kids rolling their cars on top and just hitting toys off of it. So I'm just taking some wood filler here to fill in all of the scratches and dings. And then I will give that about an hour to dry and then I'll come back and sand it down. All I had on hand was a 150 grit sandpaper. So I use that. Normally I would go to about a 200 to 25 grit. You just really don't want anything too aggressive to get it off, but this does the trick with a 150. Just got to be very careful. As this isn't real wood, it's just particle board, so I don't want to damage that at all. For my all over color, I'm going to use Fusion Mineral Paint in the color Algonquin. Now, this paint claims that it takes very little prep work to use, um, meaning that you don't normally need a primer with it and it's only a one coat application. It can be used on already painted surfaces and it's great for indoor and outdoor use. It leaves a very matte look and also very little brush strokes. All fusion paints are non-toxic, lead free, virtually odorless and have no VOCs and contain no ammonia or formaldehyde. On this whole project I used only about a quarter of a can, maybe not even that. So I started off by using a small paintbrush to get into the tiny areas and then as you can see here I then got the wider areas with a roller. I prefer to work with a roller whenever I can. It just makes the work go so much quicker than using a paintbrush in my opinion and the application just seems to be so smooth with a roller as opposed to a paintbrush. On the top of the piece I did the Algonquin and I let it dry overnight and here I have two buckets. Um, the white-ish color is called cashmere and then I also have the Algonquin in the other bucket and what I've done is a paint, well, I'm going to do a paint wash. So basically I have added a little bit of water into each of my paint colors and then I am going to use these foam brushes and apply a generous amount of each of the colors so I'm going to alternate colors so I've started here with the cashmere so I'm going to do about a strip of that and then I'm going to come back and just right beside it and kind of overlapping a little bit 
I'm going to put the Algonquin over top and then I'm just going to continue to blend with my paintbrushes. Um, that's basically all you need to do is just keep blending. I did let this dry in between a few coats and then I kind of went back over with both colors using the same technique and again just blend 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 until you get a look that you like on the top. Since this isn't a real wood piece I did want that wood like finish on the top so this is how I achieved it with the paint wash. Here comes the really fun part. I decided to take the doors off just because this would be much easier this way. And mm. then I'm going to apply this cane that I got. I rolled it out and cut it to a size that I thought would work. And then I decided that I was going to staple this down. And at first I wasn't really sure if that would be the best way to do it but you honestly can't see the staples once I put them in there. I took my scissors and trimmed up the edges of the cane and now I'm just reattaching the original hardware. For the final reveal here's what the piece looked like before I started and here's what it looks like now as always thanks so much for watching and if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.